Hey, what's up? First thing I'd like to say is, thanks for hitting the link and watching this video. It took time and effort to make this. Really do appreciate that. Also, if you don't mind, can you hit that like and subscribe? Hitting the like don't hurt none. You can hit it right before you see the video. Don't worry, you will be satisfied. Also, we try to get some new things going on in this channel, and to do that, I need new equipment. And to do that, it would really help if you could give some kind of donation. If you can't, it's cool. It is what it is. We still appreciate your presence here. If you can, that would be very nice, and link is in the description. Anyway, right now, let's get to our regularly scheduled program. Hey, yo, I appreciate it if you could hit that like button right about now. What up? This is the BBN, Jack Frost, and it's a new show I'm starting called Hood Reviews, where we're going to review movies. And um, hopefully, <laughs> at some point, I'll be able to get the uh, okay to use some actual footage from the movies so the videos could be a little bit more entertaining. But first movie that we're going to be reviewing is Transformers Age of Extinction. Okay, the way this movie review channel works is I tell you what I think first and then I break down why. What did I think about it? That shit is banging. Go see it. It's lit. Why? Why? Look, we all know what it is. When you go to see a Michael Bay movie, you're not going into the movie theater hoping to see some kind of love triangle that somehow has six layers of depth to it. And we're not going to see some kind of Christopher Nolan going to twist your mind up and bend you over backwards. And then when you leave the theater, you're not sure what the hell happened. You know you're not going to see that type of stuff. You're going to see explosions. You're going to see mind-bending imagery. You're going to see... Definitely, yo, he has probably some of the best sound work in the game. Now, this is facts. Like, I mean... I don't know how much y'all pay attention to the uh the sounding, the sound behind like movies, but um I kind of went to school, or not kind of went to school, I actually did go to school for uh editing of uh videos and movies and stuff like that. And I'm telling you right now, out of the gate, um he has some of the be best sound design in the business, bar none. And the sound design for the different Transformers, and, yo, the dope thing is if you really pay attention when the um when the Autobots transform, their sounds are different than when the Decepticons transform. That's dope. That's that's dope. Anyway, let me get to the actual um aspects of the movie. So basically what comes is uh the humans have 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 did what we usually do. <laughs> Seriously, what we usually do, and we have stabbed someone in the back. So the humans, the U.S. government, has stabbed the Autobots in the back. And they're hunting them down, telling everybody that they're... I'm not going to give away too much of the movie, but I'm going to say right now, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. So they're hunting down the Decept... They're hunting down the Autobots like they're the Decepticons. That's what they're telling, you know, the populace, the, you know, the people in America and the people of the world. These are the Decepticons. We're hunting these rat bastards down. And so... They're hunting them down, and you in the beginning you don't really know why they hunting them. Why they hunting them down? You think they're just hunting them down so they can eliminate them, you know, because that's what they're telling the public. But later on, you find out that they're hunting them down because there's a specific metal. The metal that make up the the, uh, the transformers is actually um, no metal that's found on the planet, but. There's a way, I'm not going to do too much spoilers, but, you know, I'm just this is just, like, top layer stuff. So, the metal that, that makes up the Transformers and the Decepticons is a special type of metal that allows for it to be able to receive signals. And by doing that, it can just do, like, tons of cool shit. So, they need the metal from the Autobots because they're trying to build their own army. As usual, the U.S. government, in every movie, is trying to take some type of alien technology and use it to their advantage to try to build some kind of other army so they don't have to use actual human beings. I'm telling you, yo, we better watch out in the future. This is retarded. Like, how is almost every single movie that's about... Seriously. Hold on. Didn't they, um... Isn't that what they did in, uh, the, the second... Independence Day also, I mean, they didn't, you know, they, the human beings still had to work the, the weapons, but that's basically what they did, isn't it? They took the technology from the first Independence Day movie, and then they, uh, you know, 
did what they did to make it so that they could use it. But, you know, whatever. That's the point is being made is that now the Transformers technology is being used by human beings because movies. Anyway, so. <laughs> Optimus Prime gets found by some, you know, some dude. He just builds contraptions. That's what I'm going to call him. A guy that builds contraptions. Now, this is the one thing that, I mean, it, this is a movie trope. It's the guy that he's not really, no, he's not really the dude that's doing a whole bunch of stuff. He's, he's, he's down and out on his luck. And then all of a sudden, the star comes into his life. Everything gets tooken crazy. He goes through some kind of crazy adventure. And then he comes out better on the other side for it. Not for nothing, but that is character development. You hear me? Michael Bay does that well. This is the problem that a lot of movies um, that have been big blockbuster movies didn't do well and people, whether they noticed it or not, noticed it. We're looking at you, Batman v Superman. Your yeah, same Batman from the beginning of the movie is basically the same Batman at the end of the movie. The same Superman from the beginning of the movie is basically the same Superman at the end of the movie. Very little character development. We notice it, whether you notice it, noticing it or not. Anyway, great character development. And also, when Optimus Prime, Prime actually does come back to, because they have to save him. I'm not going to give too much, but they have to save him. Optimus Prime gets saved, and when he initially gets saved, he still wants nothing to do with the humans. That nigga stabbed us in the back. He wants nothing to do with the humans. You hear me? And by the end of the movie, he sacrifices himself, basically. I'm not going to tell you what he does, but basically he sacrifices himself. Now, it's a dope-ass movie. I'm not going to give you no more than that. That's enough. What I've just mentioned is enough. There's great character development. There's explosions. I mean, it's Michael Bay. There's going to be explosions. Michael Bay can make a movie about <laughs> cavemen, and there will be explosions. <laughs> Fact. You feel me? So um, there's gonna be explosions, and and the color, the coloring was great. Just the um, the different colors of the Autobots was absolutely great. Also um, not for nothing, but um, it was a linear story, so that was kind of cool. You know, uh, linear story meaning it didn't jump back and forth through time. It was a linear story, which was kind of cool. But um. They just had a lot of characters. You had a lot of individuals that was one way at the beginning of the movie. Then towards the end of the movie, they were just different. So that was great. Also, I had Kelsey Grammer. And Kelsey Grammer's always, I mean, thumbs up to Kelsey Grammer. I messes with him. So, um, yeah. I This is definitely a movie that I advise you go see. Um, as far as entertainment value, out of five stars... I would definitely give this a three and a half. Entertainment value. And I personally think anything over two, two and a half is a must-see. Anything over two and a half is a must-see. A two is a, eh, if you're bored, why not? A one is, I'd rather just take a nap. But anything over two and a half is, is a must-see. And this is definitely a three and a half star movie out of four. Leave the comments down below. Anybody that's seen the movie, leave the comments down below. I would like to know what y'all think about it personally also. And anybody that um, has any questions about the movie, leave comments down below about that also. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember... Positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.